Are you one of many people worldwide who suffer with this skin condition and you're wondering what to do about it? Well, if you have this skin condition, you have something called Ankynthosis nigricans, which is a skin condition that involves areas of dark, thick, and velvety skin. These patches appear in the folds and creases of skin, such as the neck, armpits, groin, and sometimes even the knees and elbows. Although this is pretty much harmless, it can indicate that you may have a certain disease or underlying illness that you may not know about. A lot of people actually suffer with ichthyosis nigricans from a very young age, and there's many people who've reported to me that they tried to have people clean it for them, so they would go in the bathtub and they would try to scrub, trying to take it off their skin, when in fact it meant that they actually had something else going on. On today's episode, we are going to talk about ichthyosis nigricans, what causes these, and what can you do to get rid of them. Let's right, we're going to talk about treatment options and things that I do with my patients on a regular basis. Unfortunately, too many people suffer with this and a lot of people are bothered by it. Before we get started, this is your host, Dr. Diana Bitucci. I'm a board certified APRN here in the United States. It is my passion to treat and manage all of you worldwide. If you are new, consider subscribing to my channel. And please share this video and always share your thoughts down below. All right, so let's talk about what can actually cause this. What can cause ichthyosis nigricans? The number one being insulin resistance. A lot of people who suffer with insulin resistance tend to develop this and it can darken over time as the insulin resistance progresses. So it might start off as a lighter skin color and then it can darken and become a lot darker and more thick as things progress. That's right, a lot of diabetics actually do have ankyntosis nigricans, but prior to having diabetes, they might have had insulin resistance and they may not have known about it. Other things can be obesity, hormonal disorders such as PCOS. Certain medications can also cause ankyntosis nigricans. These will include things like your corticosteroids, hormonal medications, niacin, which we often use to control cholesterol levels, Taken in high doses, niacin can actually cause ankyntosis nigricans. Things like the antiretroviral medications that we often use for HIV or AIDS. Some anti-psych medications and oral contraceptives can actually cause ankyntosis nigricans as well. And of course, we know genetics always plays a part. So if you're genetically predisposed, unfortunately, sometimes that can be the luck of the draw as well. So you're probably wondering, well, how do I treat ichthyosis nigricans? What do people do who suffer with the skin condition? Number one is we have to treat the underlying problem, meaning we want to find out why you have ichthyosis nigricans, and then we want to treat that issue. So if insulin resistance, we are going to work with you to try to improve the insulin sensitivity and make you less insulin resistance, which can help. If obesity is a problem, obviously we want to work with you to fix the obesity problem and help you lose weight so we can improve this as well. Weight loss tends to be a very big treatment option for ankylosis nigricans. Unfortunately, a lot of people who have ankylosis nigricans tend to struggle with obesity as well. Therefore, we work with patients to try to change their dietary habits try to incorporate more exercise and physical activity so we can try to improve insulin sensitivity and reduce insulin resistance. If a patient has this because of PCOS reasons, so hormonal imbalances, we work with them to try to fix the hormonal imbalances, therefore regulating the hormones and therefore helping them with this skin condition. We also have topical treatments. Remember, we still wanna make sure we're treating the underlying cause of the issue but we can also use the topical treatments at the same time. So we would be working with the patient on both improving the appearance, but also fixing the underlying condition, whether that may be insulin resistance or PCOS. We can prescribe things like a Trentoin cream, which may help lighten or exfoliate the skin or the affected area. Another option would be the keratolytic creams. These creams would include things like urea or salicylic acid, which can smoothen or soften the skin, which can sometimes help improve how it looks. Other options would be certain medications. So normally, if a patient is struggling with insulin resistance, 
we will use things like metformin. Metformin is still a very popular medication that we use for PCOS, insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, and many other things. However, we know that metformin can improve insulin sensitivity. As a result, sometimes those affected areas will actually get lighter and they don't appear to be as thick and as dark as they do before initiating metformin. And other times we can do oral retinoids. This is more in severe cases. A dermatologist will actually prescribe an oral retinoid and they will use this to help improve the severity of the inconthosis nigricans. Another option is laser treatment. These things will include laser therapy or intense pulse light, which can help reduce the thickness and the pigmentation of the affected areas. These treatments were by targeting and breaking down excess melanin in the skin. And the last resort would be surgery. Sometimes, as I mentioned, this can also happen in the elbows and in the knees. So you can develop ankylosis nigricans pretty much anywhere there's folds but it, it can become so severe and so thick that it's actually painful. So sometimes for these patients, surgery is considered as a last resort. So of course, we want patients to be mobile. We want them to be comfortable. We want them to be pain-free. And that is when the dermatologist will obviously refer this patient to a specialized person who deals with this condition and specifically and they will talk about surgical options. So the main goal really, again, is inconthosis nigricans is harmless, but it does mean that there is usually an underlying condition that's causing it, like insulin resistance or obesity or diabetes. You always wanna make sure that you are consulting with your provider, making sure that they are fixing the underlying problem first, and then you can explore the alternative options. Please let me know your thoughts down below. I will see you all on the next video.